unknown to me. This was the experience I needed to know how to manage leaders. You see, I had had experience managing direct people, the ICs, the individual contributors, the mm. people who are doing the job, the sales people, the tech people. But now this other job was giving me experience to manage, manage leaders. leaders. The dots connect, the, uh, but you can't see the full picture. And least, uh, somebody says this very well. The dots connect backwards. Mm. When you look back, when you're walking, you're not understanding mm. all of these different things. Uh, when you mentioned Microsoft, I thought, ah, okay, finally she's going to say, and this is where Microsoft came mm. in. Microsoft was a wrong dangling carrot. It was. How insane is that? Mm. Um, number two, everybody needs a dolly. Yes. What I'm realizing for you from the moment that she came, first of all, being more older in age than you, but wiser at that time. Not too old, but yes. Yes, mm. wiser, that, wiser at that time. More exposed. Anymore. Yes, more yeah. exposed. Mm. Um, but the fact that you have had somebody to, to throw back, and even mm. when you make these decisions, I like that she says, hey, I didn't see this one coming. Mm. But she didn't mm. put you down and tell you, mm. she flowed with you. Mm. Wow. Dolly, Dolly, <laughs> you are that spoken hero for for, for this conversation. Yeah. Oh man! So there's a word that you've used, mm -hmm. country manager. Yes. Explain now this transition. So you are not really jobless because what you had was time, but there was a salary still coming. Yeah, so you see, was I extended? I asked for them for Intel to, to extend me as an active employee till end of March, mm -hmm. which is what they did. And then they paid me for two months after that. Yes, because of breaking the contract. Because of breaking the contract, yes. yes. So that means, in essence, April I was still earning and May I was also still earning. So for me to sign so quickly, because checkpoint went so fast. <laughs> For me to sign, I was able to start, because why am I deferring time? Mm -hmm. I was able to start on 2nd of May of yeah, 2017. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pay, is it the 30%? Yes, it was. Because they're matching what? Yeah, yeah. Because, and now I'm negotiating. And as well, similarly, the offer that was sent to me, the offer Rick sent to me, I tell him, Rick, you know, I will stick the, I'll still take the job. But I'm requesting, just add me a million more. <laughs> As in, pa pa annual. Yes. 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 Like, yeah, yeah. Mm. And he did. He did. You know, your story started from, is it five Gs? Yeah. What, what number was it? What, what? 500. No, when she, 500. Mm -hmm. 500 shillings. This is a story of progression. Mm. Okay, so you start. What's 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 your what does it entail? This is not just sales. This is no. This is now real leadership. It's not sales management. It is leadership, really. This is you. You you are in charge of the office. You are in charge of the operations. Ah, yeah, yeah, you yeah, are in yeah. charge of the strategy. You are in charge of direction. Everything. Everybody reports to you. Correct. The tech people. The business people, the ops people, everything. Okay. And that is why, if you remember, Dolly was asking me, why are you refusing to think mm -hmm. in terms of scope? What do you think will develop you more? Mm -mm 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 -mm. And while I was, after I reported, do you know what happened? Microsoft did a serious restructure. The person who would have taken that role dropped. Because they hired internally. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that is what I avoided. Or well, that is what God helped me avoid and also used Dolly to help me understand. Because mm. I need logically to understand. Yes. Yes. I, I'm a faith person, but it needs to make sense for me. Uh -huh, I, I love that. Yes. I need to understand logically why this and not that. Yes. And that's why even after I say it's okay, I'll do it, but help me understand why. And God shows up and he helps me understand why. So let's talk about then this new role. Yes. 
what does that look like? Are they setting up a new office or this already set up? So it's been set up, but the, what I inherited was a business that was losing market share, had no trust in the market in terms of the partners that were working, in terms of the customers that were there, employees were demotivated. It was a tough business. Wow. So I needed to turn around that business. How do you start? Where do you start? I realized the experience I had gained over time. Remember, I was hired in HP to set up the software business mm. and to expand that. Similarly, in Oracle, I expanded that to newer markets. Then I had gone to Intel to learn about cybersecurity. Mm. So I was not starting from behind. I was starting from a platform that had already been set up. Yep. Then I had also interacted in the industry enough with different partners to understand who are the strongest partners. Mm. From an employee perspective, who are the strongest salespeople do I need to work with? So it, just, it was just about execution. Understanding what was needed and ensuring I'm setting up that rhythm for the business to run by itself. What about leading people now, motivation? Like you're talking, one of the, the, the team was demoralized. Correct. You're probably thinking that we're shutting down. Correct. And, and of course, when a team, when a team, I know when I came in, and I'm, and I'm, I'm tough. Mm. And I'm tough because I drive accountability. Mm. I drive accountability, not just for the team, but also for myself. Mm. I'm, I openly say, keep me accountable, I will keep you accountable. I say what my goals are, you ask me. I don't have issues. Um, so that means costing is not, is not, you can't cost anymore. Mm, 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 you have mm. to show up, you have to do what needs to be done. Mm. If you tell me you went to meet, I don't know which customer. I have been in this market for so long. <laughs> I'll just pick the phone and I'm like, what's, why, why are you not supporting Checkpoint? Mm. You know. So you better not lie about that. So of course they, they, they won't lie. Mm. They won't lie. And, but now the thing is, I, I brought back the work ethic. Mm. Then one thing I learned from Rick, where he says, he, he, he would love to tell me, don't feel bad about being firm and being strict. Usually employees, when they are working, they want someone who's easy on them. But when the rewards come, and you know sales is about rewards, it's about commissions. Yep. When the end of the year comes and they don't have rewards, they hate you. A good one. As their leader or as their manager. But if you're firm and fair and accountable and you drive execution and the rewards come at the end of the year, they know you're the right leader for the mm. business. Mm. So I was not afraid of being strict. Mm. And I know I was strict. But I was also I was strict with employees, but I was also strict with the partners. Mm. So and the other thing I, I like to be, I like to be a fair leader. So if it is business, I don't give favorism from one partner to the other. If there are any under dealings which were happening, which had been happening before, I come as it's over the table. Mm. First month, I remember, um, I did a program, a leadership program after, because I realized I needed to do a leadership program. I was going program. to even ask you that. Did you? Uh -huh. Yes. And one of the things they ask is for feedback from people who've worked with you. And so I asked Rick at the time, because that was a year later when I did the leadership, whatever. And one of the things he said is, the confidence in which you showed up in the rooms we went to to negotiate, there was a deal which was on the table. It was a $1.2 million deal. Mm. And the partner who was engaged at the time was refusing to book it or to close it because they wanted to be discounted for after the fact. Mm. This is a government deal, mm. meaning it was an open tender, mm. meaning I gave you pricing or you were given pricing by the company. Then you're supposed to work out your expenses. Then you quote your price. Yep. Then you go and bid against others. Yep. Remember, I used to submit bids. Yes. Do you think there's no estate experience? Nothing at all. So then, after you've gone and you've been awarded based on what you quoted, you want to come back and tell me I give you an, a 20% discount. Why? Mm -hmm. It is after the fact. That is corruption. I say no. And so Rick, that's what he quoted. He's like, I had, I knew, I know I'm tough. He was saying he knows his stuff, but, but he has met <laughs> his match. a tough firm person. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So with that, because of that consistency, which is the same thing I had done, I earned respect then in the industry. Mm. And that's what helped turn around the business. And did it turn around? It did. It did. And before long, my scope was expanded to West Africa. To West Africa? And North Africa. <laughs> So then I led East, 
West and North Africa. So then the country managers started to report to me. Oh, man. So you stopped being the country manager for Kenya or you remained yes. country manager? No, I got someone else became. So now you, manager. they all three reported to you. Yes. West Africa, mm -hmm. meaning a couple of countries, or is it just Nigeria? So it's Nigeria and Ghana. And Ghana. The English, uh -huh. yes. Uh, North Egypt? No, yes. Uh, usually Morocco. Morocco is the hub for tech. Okay, okay, okay. So Morocco and the French speaking. Yes. And then um, East Africa, Kenya and East Africa. Wow. What does that look like? What does, what does a role in that position look like? So now this was the experience unknown to me. This was the experience I needed to know how to manage leaders. You see, I had had experience managing direct people, the ICs, the individual contributors, the mm. people who are doing the job, the sales people, the tech people. But now this other job was giving me experience to manage, manage leaders. leaders. So I would never have imagined the kind of experience I would get from Checkpoint. Uh, 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 uh. What kind of, what are like the biggest challenges you faced managing at that level? What does that, you know, mm -hmm. my mind can't fathom that because mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not there yet. I'm not mm -hmm. yet, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. mark the words. Mm -hmm. But what does, what, what does the challenges of that scope look like? You see now, every leader has their style. When I was working directly with individual contributors, I could understand each of them and adjust how I manage each to motivate them. Mm. And they knew I had their back. Mm. So then when they showed up, they would show up with the confidence of, Candy has my back. And if I need her to come on, she will come on board. Mm -hmm. And she will support. Now you introduce a layer between me and them. Uh -huh. And this style, and then they, they, that means, and I'm direct, to, to support the manager, I need them to work more with the manager. So as in, I need... Uh, you need the country? The you country, need... yes. And also so that I can manage my, uh, what I'm doing and everything. So I'm not too stretched. Mm. I need them to, by default, go to their direct manager. I get. Yeah. So then it becomes, and that's the other thing. Quickly, I noticed because of the... <laughs> when we would talk now with Dolly, because what I... What, what I realized because those who work with me or for me directly I work with them to make them successful mm. so I did what I could for them to be successful mm. but what that happened I work myself out of a job usually mm. because I, I will do it and then because you have leaders here it's very easy to work yourself out of a job yep. and I, as I was doing that I was also getting tired remember I've already seen what like she goes there can do so while I was doing that I was also getting tired of this whole sales, revenues, top lines, bottom lines, as in the profits and all of that. Revenue, top line, mm. bottom line being the profits. That whole balance. And I was like, I think it's time I considered thinking of a sabbatical. <laughs> and also because I had set up the business in a way that it could run. Nice. And so now what I've done, that is 2017, that is 2018. And now this I'm realizing going 2018 to the end that I can set up as in... I can actually sort of exit uh, this this bit because I have set up for the business to run. Mm. And so I thought, what's the best exit? Because I'm like, I'm not going for another. I'm tired of this race and, and all of this. Mm. So then I remembered part of the reason I needed to get a first class honors is because I needed to open up all possibilities of where I could go do my master's. Mm. Mm -hmm. And then, so I searched, I, I was like, which are the top, the top universities globally? Of course, they show up Harvard, Princeton, Yale. And then I, I realized there's a program that Harvard has, a mid-career program, Masters in Public Administration. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I have all this experience in the business side. I need to understand how to manage the public administration, which then marries, you remember that intersection yep. of Go private and, and, government. and, and public. Yeah, yes. pub, yeah. Mm. So that's 2018, with the deadline being, I think, December something. I looked at what are the, what are the requirements for this program? I think there are like seven S's, as in it's, it's, it's crazy. I put in my application. I told God, let's see. Is it time for sabbatical? Tweke? Who, who knows? Then we move, 
so all this, there is nothing much changing. In, as in, you understand the scope for checkpoint, you understand I've taken over people managers. Mm. You understand that I need to take a sabbatical. The sabbatical for me, what I can explain looks like, let me go to, let me try get into Harvard. If I get into Harvard, even though I get out of employment for a year, at least that's something I can explain yes. intellectually. And someone will see, okay, she's not bad. She went to Harvard. Mm. We can get her back. This is me using my logical mind. So then I make the, I submit. Results usually come out in March of now we get into 2019. I get into 2019 with the understanding that this is a big year. I don't know why, but I told you, I, 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 get, I enter each year very introspectively. Mm, mm, mm. So God makes it very clear that 2019 is sort of a transition year or a year that he's gonna do a lot and also because it is the year I'm 39. Mm. Because 2020, I will be turning 40. Mm. So, be, after 20, 2007, the other year I fasted the most 2019. was 2019. <laughs> and sought God was oh. 2019. In that whole seeking God, March comes. I'm still in checkpoints. I'm still doing, getting work done. I'm now getting less busy. I left my office to allow the, because it was a country manager office, so I left it to allow the country manager to sit. Then I started to work a bit from home, and sometimes I would go to the office, just because when I would travel, as in I would compensate, because yes. sometimes if I'm traveling and all of that. Um, in March, in March, the results for my application come in. I open my email, and it says, Congratulations. <laughs> You've been accepted into Harvard Kennedy School. Yeah, wow. 